Zach Rosenberg, 2025 lacrosse goalie. Thoughts? Just realized no 2023 draftees played against Dallas. Why? We were drafting for a win-now team. Could have had Zay Flowers over McDonald. Yeah, McDonald was a healthy scratch, Mr. Billy Burgers. And then Titman not starting, obviously. And then what was the other one? We had uh, I'm missing someone on there. Titman, McDonald. Who was our third round pick? Uh, I'm a drunk. They didn't have uh, one. We didn't have a Izzy. Third round oh, I'm pick thinking Izzy. That That's who I'm thinking of. Yeah. Izzy was the other one that didn't play. None of our like the the guys yeah. that you'd like to see out there were out there. So Greenbin, I guess I want to throw it your way. Uh, what do you think? Do you think there was a really big issue that our 2023 draft picks did not play? And do you think there was a miscalculation, you know, at the time of the draft with the players that we selected? Well, um, what I will say is our initial feelings during that draft was that exactly that was going on. It's not to say that the players selected aren't exciting and that we don't have great hopes for them, but I think a lot of us were thinking more along the lines of whatever you need to do to make sure that this season is a success. I don't think the McDonald pick so much – falls into that category it's more of somewhat of a luxury pick you know um and there it's almost it it looks to me more of like a pick for the future like you talked about earlier like the plan of to lose carl lawson and maybe even huff we already have a guy going into his second year and all and that's great it really is a great line of thinking to be able to do that but the trade for aaron Rodgers, i thought kind of took that away a little bit like all you know, it's like when Star Trek, you know, they're getting attacked on the front end by the Klingons. They go, you know, yeah, focus all shields to the front end. Like it's all resources to the front, all energy. That's where they're being attacked. All, all energy to the front shields. I don't know how the hell they say it. I felt, thought I had it, but I'm saying it wrong. But, uh, you know, that's how I thought we should have played this. And I think that, you know, Will McDonald being a scratch, is he being a scratch? I mean, is it, again, it's a long season, man. Let's just see where it goes and everything. It could be just this week. They could be using different players for different games that they think they're going to succeed at. And all those kinds of things are in play. I think we're overreacting to a degree, like what it means. But at the same time, it's a little bit frustrating when you use a first round pick and you have this kind of a year and he's, he's a scratch. So you have too many guys at the position that you used your first round pick on. It's a little annoying a little on the annoying side um in fourth fifth round picks i'm not too concerned about they uh you know look the dalvin cook thing you guys remember i wasn't the hugest fan of it and so far he doesn't look all that great and one of the concerns was fumbles and guess what guess what he did it game two that's when we started seeing dalvin cook drop the ball and we didn't need him to do that right there i mean it was i mean it's never a good time for a fumble but that was a particularly bad time. We were trying to like kind of not lose control of the game at that point. And, and it, 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 it was like a knife to the, you know, to the chest. And um, so I would love to see them kind of like if, if Dalvin cook, it just has no juice left. I hope they have the balls to just bring Izzy in and uh, you know, 8 million or not just stick him on the bench, stick him on the, you know, on the inactive list. I don't really give a shit. I, I want to see the best players on the field. But again, I think this was a really interesting game on, in, a, in a lot of ways. There was a lot that, that we didn't like. It was like, why are they doing this? Why? What's going on with that? Why is that happening? Like, we can see it. My big question is not so much about Will McDonald. It's a much bigger question about why is it that the, particularly the offensive coordinator, the Jets can never get an offensive coordinator that just logically plays the game of football like we see. Like, we are fans, and we're like, this is clearly what we should be doing. And every offensive coordinator that we get just can't seem to figure that simple shit out. I don't know what that is. That's my concern. Will McDonald being a scratch when we have Carl Lawson, Jermaine Johnson, Michael Clemens, fucking Quinton Williams, Bryce Huff, that's not my concern. JFM, it's annoying, yes. That's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is why isn't Hackett gay giving the ball to Brees Hall behind Beckton and ABT? That's my concern. Why is that not happening?